Let's create a tic-tac-toe game with markup in a few minutes. Support the channel by liking or commenting on this video. Subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Now, let's dive in. First, I'll create a function that returns an array of nine items, which are simply objects with the mark and complete keys to represent a cell. I can then call it to set the cell state. Now I can define my tic-tac-toe game template with HTML and create my board where I then go over each cell and call the render cell function. The render cell function returns a template for the item and it's called with a cell object and the index of the cell. I can then render a div with a cell class to then render the mark and add a dynamic win class when the cell is marked as complete to indicate which cells won the game. With that, I can then render my game inside the app div I set up earlier. This is the style for the entire game, by the way. I'll not explain the style, but you can check the code in the link below. And this is how things look so far. I'll then create a play function that takes the index of a cell. But before we handle the play logic, I'll add a state to track current player and then add a click event on each cell to call the play function with the index. First thing I'll do is check if the cell already has a mark and return earlier to prevent overriding the cell. Then I'll proceed to update the cell state by providing a callback where I'll update the cell at the index with the current player mark, then return the updated array. After that, I can update current player by alternating between X and O based on current value. With that, I can play with my board, and as you can see, it correctly updates each cell on click, but I can't tell when there is a winner or there is a tie, so let's handle that. First, I'll create a state that tracks the status of the game, which can either be playing, win, or tie. I'll then add an array representing all possible cells combinations that can be filled to win the game. When I'm updating the cells, I'll go over the winning cells and check if any of them are filled with the current player mark. By doing a find and check if every index in that winning cells list has the same mark. Then I'll add a one variable with false value, which I'll change to true if I found the winning cells which I can then use to update all the cells by sending the complete property to true. Now, if one is true, I'll update status to win. And we can try that in the browser. And as you can see, when you win, the winning cells marked as complete will get a green background. Now let's handle when, the, when there is a tie. All I'll do is create a plays variable to track the number of plays. And whenever the play is called, I'll increment it. And if there is no win and the number of plays happen to be nine, I'll update the status to tie. And just like that, all game logic is complete. Before we try all that in the browser, let me add a couple things to the template to make it nice and easier to use. First, a paragraph that tells whose turns is it, which I'll hide if the status is not of playing. Another paragraph to say that there is a tie, which I'll also hide if the status is not of tie. Last paragraph to announce the winner, which I'll also hide if the status is not of win. Finally, I'll reset button to start a new game and I'll add a click event to call the reset function here. And all it does is set the number of plays back to zero, update cells with initial cells array and set the status back to playing. I'll also hide the button if the status is off playing. I can now play by triggering a win, reset to a new game and then I can go ahead and trigger a tie. Check the link to the code below. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.